Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. Well, Diamond Diva, Billy Bob have a little announcement. Let's see. Let me warm that up. Thank you to Terry for telling us that we have a diamond. This is gold filled. And then that little... I totally missed it because I didn't notice how it was set. Can you see the diamond there? It's set on a backdrop that makes it look bigger. So it, it'll probably hit the metal, but... Yep. So Diamond Diva, Billy Bob are happy. But another funny thing, we were going through the tangles and another gold filled. But this one is funny. This is gold filled. And guess what Billy Bob is living? Billy Bob is living. This is so Billy Bob. Y'all are going to love it. I'm going to let y'all read it before I... It's like an ID bracelet. It's a necklace. A bikini kind of life. Kind of. <laughs> kind of life. A bikini kind of life. That's right, Billy Bob. He's got his... Look at his hat. I mean, you know... He's got that island jam going. I can just hear some kind of island music in the background. Bikini kind of life. That's what he does all day. Diamond Diva, you get back over there. Let's look at a few more of these. $3. They actually had a pair. And they feel really terrific. I keep looking for a mark. They're, they've got some, uh, they're dangly with some of the crystals, so $3. I had to crack up on that. This is a nice, large, faceted, golden piece of glass with long, many, stranded. So this will be $7.00. And this is will be two dollars. It is missing some of the plating on the chain. The um, dream catcher is nice. Now this is fake. S925. It's not. It'll be four dollars. I'm sure it's brass. Has some real nice dragons and all. Well, it's, it's probably the Chinese Zodiac. I don't know. Is there a rat there? So, $4. This is a Guess Rose Gold with the rhinestone ne little necklace. It'll be right up on your neck. Um, $4. This one did not test as sterling. And it's like a boho from a different country. $4. This will be $2. I'm not sure what it says. I wish I could figure it out. They both, it's stamped in there, but I can't really figure it out. And it is not marked. This piece I would love to keep, but I just cannot keep everything. This is so 70s here for me. It's, you know, some of the gold plating is worn, but it doesn't take away from it. It does have a clasp. It's going to be $7. It is very long. It is fabulous. 
And um, now this has been tied into a knot. I don't know why. It, maybe it's just tangled because the clasp is really close to this. How's y'all's day been? It's Tuesday. I came home and went straight to bed for a while. And then we had to go to a pharmacy, you know, drive through the Walmart pharmacy. It means pull up, turn your car off. And we picked up one little bag of groceries and some paper towels, which was another line. Uh, $4, all at the wrong time, which was 5.30. I wonder if these are, I don't think they're diamond, but they're a pretty rhinestone. And I don't, let me see what these marks are. I just feel like I'm missing something here. Uh... I don't, oh, maybe that's a clue. What is it? 316. What is that? This opens here. How does it open? I don't want to break it. And a T. Well... I don't have the gold fever right now. That bracelet, that bangle took care of it for a while. I got through processing the last video. There's still a lot left. These are, it's hitting metal. It's going up though. And they don't have an opening, so I'll need to look that up if anybody knows that T. This is Chico's. It's a um, got some nice chunky pieces in here and glass sat uh, uh, illusion necklace I call it satellite because I think of you know the universe with the satellites going around like a moons and stuff three dollars This did not sell, so let's go for it at three. It's vintage. It's some type of... It's, I don't know what it, the material is, and this is printed on there or something. It's either, I don't want to say like a Bakelite, but like a nice plastic. Look at this. Do you like the Southwest? Check this out. And I know I'm doing these late because I really don't intend to do a video, but then I get to feeling a little better. And I'm like, let me do it and go to bed. And so not a lot of people are seeing it. $4. Another somewhat southwesty. $4 rhinestone in the middle. blue sort of a bow i mean an indian type brassy blues and golds this is frayed three dollars this has a nice clasp i don't know who made this it's in good condition 
those feel smooth. I'm wondering if they're made to like faux potato pearls. So we'll just go with it as faux, but if they're real good, $5. If they're real good for you, I hope they are. They're just a little smoother than I'm used to, but I'm not a jeweler. $3. It's almost got a, a gray pinkish tone. Now this one has some green, I don't know what happened, but it's silver tone and gold tone. This is the pendant, has some gold tone on it. The bottom, Charming Charlie, $4 as is. I think it'll clean up. And look how it is here. There's your golden or brassy double stranded there interesting one dollar i don't know who this is but it's a nice toggle for the game it looks vintage um this will go in craft i am going to sell the seahorse because it's got a lot of other sea themed items creatures We've got the crab, the shells, the seahorse uh, star. It's got nice sparkle. It has a nice sound if you like that. Is this the way it goes? I think this is the way it goes. Sand dollars and the seahorse, eight dollars. Then we have a silver tone. I almost thought it would be something, but it's not. It does have a nice look. Looks like a faux onyx type, very lightweight, $4. Now this one is so smooth and I'm still look at it. And I don't know how this works, but I mean, I'm still like, is there a mark? That's not a mark, I don't think. No. So I guess you just wear it around your head like that. $4. It is very nice. More of a sea theme again with whoever this is. I can't ever read this cursive. I don't know three dollars it has like a shell charming charlie nice how much was this size s price is not on there three dollars this is an amazing piece it's just so interesting now some of the plating is, I don't know if that's tarnished, but it's got a nice antique look on it. So I, I think it's supposed to be like that. Some of it is glass, very, very long. It's gonna be $8. Look at this ring. I know, I know there was a gasp. This ring is going to be $7. It's in really good condition. I want to say pristine, but I'm, I'm, I really don't want to know that I can say that. But it's just, I'm not going to try to scratch it up either. Like a five. I mean, is it adjustable? I don't even want to move that. I wouldn't even move that, but you can. It might be adjustable. It looks like it's never been worn. This is, looks like it's brand new. This is how it looks like it has, what do you call that? Is that, it's not a pedestal, is it? Cathedral? Uh, it's called something. <laughs> Terry? <laughs> Terry Cove. Uh, uh, I hope you don't, you probably don't use your last name. I'm sorry. Ink? Terry? 
is so knowledgeable, and many of, of our viewers are very knowledgeable. Uh, by the way, that flag, one of the viewers said, was probably a W-E-I-S-S, -S, and I looked up Weiss. This is going to be, um, it's nice. It's got little rhinestones. It's a very, it's got the gunmetal gray, $6. Nice necklace for $6. Um, the flag, a Weiss has blues in two two and you know in, in in pairs and that one did and violet got that one so i want to thank the person for identifying now this right here okay there we go and well i don't know now this seems Something's not right. I don't know. This will be $2, and if you want to figure it out, there you can have it. I cannot figure it out. Snowflake with blue rhinestones. Nice blue. Silver tone. They're all there. $3. After we're done, uh... I will make a video of what's left because a lot is left and it's really nice. Uh, and who is this? NW. It's got little rhinestones in here. Three dollars. Golden clamper. Four dollars. These will go. This is a pretty blue. And I believe it's leather. I just don't know what's going on with it. It needs to be something. If you'd like both of those, that one's Charming Charlie, $3. If they don't go, then it will go in the craft bag where this one's gonna go, but that is a pretty ribbon, pretty color more this one is nice look at this billy bob are you living the what was it the bikini life <laughs> i can just see you with a bunch of little sheilas around you sheila's like bobbing her head over there six dollars it has some mother of pearl faux coral this is the bikini life there's billy bob jr you will always have a Billy Bob there to bring you luck, help you find gold with the golden starfish. Living the bikini life. This needs to be, it's kind of matte. I think it's got, like it's lost its sheen, but it's a nice vintage. It'll be $3. There's the toggle. This is a nice toggle with a butterscotch glass. Ooh, we have a new word. We have some butterscotch out here. Four dollars because of the, my bestie's in. She, she has energy to, this is pretty. It, there's no name on it. Six dollars. She bought some, I don't know what, those little, just an off-brand. $4 on the rhinestone bangle. Butterscotch candies, off-brand. And they're good enough. I'll, we like them. This is a snowflake as well, $2. And so I, I was looking at those colors, and that color definitely looked like butterscotch. Now this one is a faux turquoise. It's on a string, but it's off set from, needs to be worked with and moved on down. I don't have patience for that. Let me just untie it, maybe that'll help. I think it slid around so they tied it. That's gonna be $2.
Here we have a vintage Premier Design wooden with a shell glass stone shell uh, stone the blues are stone five dollars those three are stone this is the rest is like plastic and shell a little bit of wooden look at this five dollars you'll need a uh, chain look at the color of those rhinestones though they're like a a smoke it's a pendant not a brooch more island theme build about this was an amazing bag y'all incredible this one will be six dollars it's got shell it's got the uh, inlay faux abalone or abalone or i don't know i'm not a jeweler <laughs> it's my middle name tonight i'm not a jeweler um <clears throat> a mesh six dollars gunmetal gray very nice six dollars this one has a little dangle here with a black leather classy really charming charlie this is could be faux but it looks so nice three dollars that's a date necklace if i ever saw one and then you've got the little flat pearl with crystals extender very tight to the neck if you can even get it on three dollars and then this one is i thought i saw a brand on here Estella and Dot. It is loose on there. Is it stretchy? No, it's not stretchy. I can't tell. We've got some milk glass, and then I'm not sure. And that might be crystal. So $5 for the loose and stretchy Stella and Dot. This is a broken... I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's broken. This is a little, don't know who that is. It'll go in the craft. Nice, there's your um, big lobster claws. Nice chain, $4. This one, nice extender, St. Thomas. And then we have a nice long, the plating is good. These two things, $4. Let's add these to our collection. That's a great price. And um, this one's kind of got an attitude or something. Kind of looks like that thing people have in their nose when you're paying in the drive-through and the person looks real normal and then they have this in their nose anyway it's a little edgy with that two dollars I think that's about it this might be sterling it's broken but I'm going to test it it's vintage rhinestone missing some but it's missing whatever it was attached to but it's it's got that back that's polished down. It could be sterling. One Laramar earring. And this watch thingy-majiggy with the heart. This will be $3. The heart clasp. Either stone or glass, I'm not sure. Then there's a nice broken cookie lee glass that I'll put in the glass one. All right, I think that's it. So if you know what the tea is, let me know. 
I got some nice little of these for vintage necklaces. So that will help everybody out. And don't forget Billy Bob, Sheila. They are a bikini kind of life. And I think we need to have Chloe and Aunt Barry over here. Aunt Barry's going to get out of her little thing for a little while. You know, she came to us without a foot, so we put that on her. A bead. There we go. She was born to shop. That's when things started turning around for us, and we were buying stuff off of Shop Goodwill. Now, she was standing real nice. There we go. And Chloe... Oh, that is a picture. I mean, if I could have an Instagram. We need an Instagram, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday. God bless.